In this video, I'm gonna be speedrunning a YouTube channel from zero to a hundred subscribers in a week. So some basic rules for this challenge. Number one, the subs need to be real. The channel has to be getting a hundred views per day. And for this challenge, we're gonna have a time limit of one week. So I'm gonna be creating a brand new channel using Shorts, YouTube's newest feature. And basically, Shorts is all the cringe of TikTok but on YouTube. Before we get into the video, remember to subscribe or I'm deleting your Robinhood account. <laughs> anyway, let's get into the video. So basically on the first day, I had two main goals, which were to pick the niche for the content and then to also go and create the YouTube channel, which meant creating the name, profile picture, description, and channel art for the YouTube channel. I also had to create the TikTok page, which would be based off of the YouTube channel. So earlier on that day, I had been looking through TikTok and decided to go with the celebrity niche. <laughs> oh, that's hot. Because that content is some of the most viral content out there and because not a lot of people were doing it on YouTube, which is a big factor because it's always better to be the first person to do something than to be late to the party. So I just spent some time doing some research and I found a channel that blew up in the past like two months. They've gotten 100,000 subscribers, 80 million views off of shorts in a month. So basically I'm gonna do a channel similar to them. Besides doing the celebrity content, I decided to like mix it up a little bit and also do the viral content, cute animal content, and some funny TikToks on the side. Just to see if I could be lucky and get a random video to go viral. So this really didn't work at all. I don't even think any of these random videos got more than like 10 views. So coming up with the name, going into it, I wanted to have something that was simple, easy to read and have absolutely no dots, underscores or numbers because in case you guys didn't know, that is a complete turn off for a YouTube channel. After brainstorming for a bit, I came up with the name Blowout. So for the logo, I decided to go with a nice bright yellow because it's a color that stands out and not a lot of people are using this, which is key for standing out on YouTube. And then I just added the channel's initials to the logo, which finished the look. At the end of day one, I finished the YouTube channel and created a description and banner that had a nice little catch rate. Nice. I also created the TikTok page based off of the stuff I made on YouTube, and that's basically everything I did for day one. Coming into day two, the plan for this day was to come up with strategies for the video titles, how many times I'd be posting, and just starting to post my first couple of videos, just to get that initial momentum and to start getting some views. With the titles, I decided to go with shorter form titles because I know those titles do better on YouTube. And shorts only shows a certain amount of words in the title. So if your title is too long, YouTube won't show all of it. I decided to use some emojis in the titles just because I heard that they help the video do better. With the posting strategy, I had done some previous research and realized that posting seven times a day was the best way to go because the more content you can put out there, the better. So I just finished posting my first video and this is what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see that well, but it's basically just a video of Addison Rae dancing with her family on TikTok. So I'm just gonna finish creating the rest of the videos and then I'll update you guys when I'm done. So I was just editing the video and I realized I forgot to update you guys. So basically everything I did is I finished creating the videos and I uploaded them all at the same time. On day two, I also posted videos on TikTok. And basically what I did is I took the videos I uploaded on YouTube and then uploaded them straight to TikTok. And I'm just gonna say it, but this TikTok strategy, man, it didn't really work out at all. And I mean, didn't really work out. I literally didn't get any views from TikTok. And I don't know whether it was because TikTok doesn't like when you download content from TikTok and then re-upload it to TikTok or something else. But throughout the week, we got a grand total of, get ready for it, three views. Hey guys, so just a quick update for day two. Basically, I did like two or three things today. One, I decided my posting strategy for YouTube and I decided to post around seven times because I think that's gonna be the best way to maximize views on YouTube. Number two, I basically also did all the posts for TikTok. But besides that, that's everything for day two. There wasn't much to do. YouTube is pretty slow, so I'll get back to you guys in like around a couple days. So it's day three and I decided I'm gonna change up two major things the uploading schedule and uploading a video every two hours. Because I thought it would be easier for the YouTube algorithm to pick up the videos than if I just uploaded them all at once. So I just finished creating the videos for today and I realized it's probably gonna be easier to like schedule all the videos ahead of time than to go on YouTube every two hours and upload them one at a time. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. 
after uploading for day three, I realized there's nothing else to do really but wait for the videos to start picking up views and changing the titles for the videos that weren't doing too well. Going to the TikTok page, the content wasn't even getting picked up by the TikTok algorithm. So I knew I had two options here. Use one of my older pages that had 7K followers on it and see how the content did on that or just stop TikTok entirely. As you guys can see, the TikTok page really isn't doing that well. I mean, it's literally getting no views at all. I'm not sure what the problem is, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep on uploading or not. So I'm gonna be straight up with you guys. I wasn't feeling the TikTok strategy at all. So I literally just dropped it like a brick and just went full focus on the YouTube channel. So at the end of day three, I noticed that the celebrity content was doing surprisingly well early on, with some videos getting over 20 views in the first day. And with all the other videos picking up steam, I decided to zone in on that type of content for day four and just post the seven best pieces of celebrity content I could find on that day. So this is where it starts to get crazy. And I mean literally overnight. The channel starts to get a crazy amount of views on a random Charlie D'Amelio video I had posted two days ago. That video pulled in a whopping 18,000 views in just three hours off of a channel with two subscribers. And with those 18,000 views, it brought our total subscribers from two to 70 subscribers. Not gonna lie, I was feeling pumped on day four. Three days left and we're only 30 subs away from our goal. The viral video definitely helped to push the other videos because the new videos I was uploading after that were getting 10 to 50 views instead of zero to five views. And some of the videos were even getting more than 300 views. So it's 5 p.m. right now and I just look at the sub count and man, right now at this moment we have 120 subs and 28,000 views on the channel in the past 48 hours. So on day four, I'm happy to say I reached the 100 sub threshold. Basically overnight, I went from two subs to 120 subs. This just goes to show the power of YouTube and shorts if you pick the right content with the right niche at the right time. And with that guys, I'm happy to say we have beat this challenge. If you wanna learn the best niches to grow a channel in, click this video right here.